Time for another history with 1UP Boys, everyone. This time around, we'll be discussing an interesting and a deadly little bug of the Mikai realm. Absolutely ravenous for souls, she hunts through a realm in order to find sustenance for her race, which is slowly dying out. Welcome to the history of QB. How she was created. QB, short for Queen Bee, was created by Akira Yasuda, who also goes as Akimon, for Darkstalker 3 in 1997. Originally, she was planned to be a singular character that just used other bugs in combat. Through her concept art, we can see that this was redesigned, and she became an actual insect herself eventually. She then became the leader of the entire Soul Bee race, who eats souls in order to live. One thing to note about QB is that this is her title and not in fact her true name which is unknown. QB's look. I don't think I need to spell it out for anyone, but her design is based on a bee with a humanoid figure. Funnily, this humanoid figure is a plot element as it's basically a facade used to lure in prey as her human looking eyes are actually a part of her mouth while the circles in her hair are her true eyes. Even still, this isn't even a true form as the body is described as more of a mech suit that the true form can call upon and pilot. No one is sure if this is special to the character or other QBs as well. Personality there isn't much in the way of personality singularly being of a more hive mind simplicity which I guess can be described as loyalty to her family and determination to supply souls in order to sustain them. This led to her entire race to become followers of Jedidoma who created Majigen, which just so happened to create a new food source for the race who was nearly on the verge of extinction. Her race's intelligence level is equal to that of a 4 or 5 year old human, so once they saw it prey, described as everything that moves, you might want to just run for the hills as they are an extremely hungry breed due to high metabolism. This means that they'll die if they don't eat for 36 hours, so yeah, they eat a ton. Abilities not surprisingly, QB shares some abilities of insects, such as being able to call out to others of her race as well as the strength of ants, being able to carry objects multiple times her own weight. With her hunting nature, she is able to smell food through touch at several hundred kilometers away, coming extremely in handy during the hunt for food. Something interesting to note about soul bees is that they are able to self-reproduce, with speculation that the male half of the race will soon disappear as funnily their reproduction is weaker as well, as them just being smaller versions of the females. Games she's been in. Her first introduction was in Darkstalker 3 for PS1 in 1998, followed by Darkstalker's Chronicle of the Chaos Tower for PSP in 2004, and Darkstalker's Resurrection for PS3, PSN, and Xbox Live Arcade. Her Japanese only appearances were in Vampire Savior 2 and Vampire Dark Circus Collection. Some other games she was in are SNK vs. Capcom Card Fighters Clash, Card Fighters 2, and Card Fighters DS. Games where she appeared as an enemy are Namco X Capcom, Project X Zone, and Project X Zone 2. Voice Actors QB has only been voiced by two Japanese VAs throughout her entire time in the series. Her first VA for Darkstalkers 3 was Miyuki Matsushita. Other voices she's done are Himi in Urutsuki Doji, Yuki in Demon Warrior Kaji, and BB Hood in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Darkstalker Chronicles. Her second VA took over from Project X Zone and was Arisa Nishiguchi. Roles she had are Oage san in Magical Wars and Quell Cellier in So I Can't Play H. There aren't a lot of extra facts about QB that we know about as she's only canon in one game, so I'll just be saying the one I did find here is it's actually pretty interesting. 
There are roughly 50 to 150 soul bees in one family, with the leader of each being a QB. Others in the family are just called PB or B. Yeah, to cap everything off, QB hasn't had an exceptionally big role in the series, but I think she's a pretty interesting character nevertheless. Hopefully we'll get another Darkstalkers game, so we can get to see her in some more of the spotlight. But until then, I hope you enjoyed, and see you next video.